Inulin is a type of prebiotic. Well, what's a prebiotic? Well, most people know what a probiotic is. A probiotic is a type of bacteria that's healthy for your gut. So a prebiotic is a type of food source for a probiotic or for healthy gut bacteria. Prebiotics have four characteristics. Number one, a prebiotic is a complex carbohydrate. So a simple carbohydrate would be something like glucose. So imagine you take glucose and you link it together in a very, very long chain and you would refer to that as a complex carbohydrate. Number two, prebiotics cannot be digested or absorbed in the stomach or small intestine. Number three, prebiotics are fermented or broken down by bacteria or yeast to fatty acids, simple sugars, or alcohols. Number four, Prebiotics promote the growth and viability of healthy gut bacteria. Potentially, how does inulin promote musculoskeletal health? Well, it would be via an indirect mechanism. Inulin potentially promotes the viability and optimal amounts of healthy bacteria in your gut. And healthy gut bacteria can directly address musculoskeletal disease. Number one, inulin may indirectly promote musculoskeletal health by decreasing the level of inflammation in your body. Inflammation, chronic inflammation, is a driving force behind many musculoskeletal injuries, such as tendonitis, arthritis, osteoporosis, and something called sarcopenia, which is a chronic loss of muscle mass and uh, weakness. At the interface, of the external and internal environments in your gut, there are very important immune cells called regulatory T cells. Now, the activity of these T cells depends on the gut bacteria they're exposed to. Now, there are certain types of gut bacteria that cause these T cells to be hyperactive and increase your whole body inflammation. And there's other types of gut bacteria that help subdue these T cells and promote a more healthful inflammation throughout your body. So potentially, inulin, through its promotion of healthy gut bacteria, can diminish the hyperactivity of these T cells, decrease your whole body inflammation, and lead to healthier bones, muscles, joints, and tendons. Number two, inulin may indirectly lead to a healthier weight. There are certain bacterial profiles, gut bacteria, that promote obesity. While the exact mechanism is not understood, some authors believe that certain bacteria help release more fat from the food you consume and also help it absorb. Now, increased fat or obesity is a significant risk factor for arthritis and even some forms of muscle wasting called sarcopenia. So potentially if inulin helps promote a healthier bacterial profile, uh, then you're less likely to have this increased absorption of fat and more likely to have a healthier weight. Number three, inulin may indirectly help the gut absorb essential vitamins and nutrients. A crucial role of gut bacteria is the absorption of vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that promote overall health. Now, certain types of musculoskeletal injury and disease are in part due to a deficiency, a nutritional deficiency in certain vitamins, minerals, and other types of uh, nutrients. Inulin, potentially through the promotion of a healthy gut bacteria, would increase the production absorption of these essential nutrients. For example, certain bacteria help the promotion and absorption of vitamin K2 and certain members of the uh, B family of vitamins. In the absence of these particular nutrients, 
your risk for chronic musculoskeletal injury is greater. Thus, if you have the appropriate uh, intake of inulin or prebiotic, you'll have the appropriate or optimal amount of uh, gut bacteria that promotes musculoskeletal health. Rich natural sources of inulin are Jerusalem artichoke and chicory root. Inulin is generally well tolerated in usual prescribed doses. However, excessive dosing can cause bloating, diarrhea, or flatulence. As with any type of supplementation, please consult with a qualified health practitioner familiar with your unique medical history.